We may be making a change of the guard on WWI Sports, but that does not mean we are taking a foot off on this fifth quarter crazy high school sports train. Folks, it's time for the fifth quarter team of the week. Let's get out to Hampstead and show some love to the Topsail Pirates. They're 2-0 and champs of Pender County. The Topsail Pirates are your fifth quarter team of the week. We've got a better football team this year than we had last year. I think we've got more depth. Uh, we've got all of our players right now, knock on wood, are healthy. A healthy Topsail team winning by double digits against in-county opponents in the last two weeks. Junior tailback Noah LaValle already with more than 300 yards on the ground. But I just can't wait for the Hanovers and Hoggers because those are the teams that are really going to test us this year. So I'm really looking forward to those games. If you ask any Topsail player on either side of the ball, they're hungry. They have every reason to be. It's a carbon copy of where this team was a year ago, except these upperclassmen are hardened and see the momentum in the conference swinging. I think we got more talent in the backfield this year, a uh, healthy running back. Uh, like you said, not a lot of injuries at all. In the offseason, that was not the case. LaValle tore his meniscus wrestling and the road to recovery looked long but he's a man on a mission. I wasn't even supposed to play in the first like five games. He beat those odds same as he beat up each defense so far this season. We're being able to execute what we're trying to do right now. I think the kids right now understand the concept on both sides of football. So uh, we're just looking forward to the things that are ahead of us. What's ahead is two more weeks of non-conference play, but the leaders on this fifth quarter team of the week are looking forward to those big ticket matchups. I feel like we can be conference champions this year if we play our best every single game. The Pirates will head up the county line to face Dixon this week. And folks, this Labor Day weekend is starting early for the fifth quarter. Come on right back here tomorrow night. We'll have highlights of South Brunswick taking on Trask. Back to you.